Have you ever wondered why your arms aren't filling out your sleeves even though you're hitting biceps hard? Could it be that the secret sauce of arm size could be something else? Well, you're in luck because we're about to go headfirst into this specific muscle. That might just be the game changer for your arm gains, your triceps. The triceps are not just any muscle. They are roughly two and a half times larger than the biceps and undeniably crucial for that impressive arm size we all covet. In today's video, we're slicing through the noise and zoning in on the latest scientific findings. We'll explore which exercises, from heavy hitting compound movements to meticulous isolation work, can maximize triceps hypertrophy. By the end of our chat, you'll have a solid blueprint on how to train your triceps for full, powerful growth. Let's get right into learning how to supercharge your arm workouts. Let's pump up those triceps and transform those arms. All right, let's get straight into the meat of it. How do compound exercises stack up against isolation moves for triceps growth? Compound exercises involve multiple joints, like when you're bench pressing, while isolation exercises focus on one joint like skull crushers or tricep rope extensions. So here's the scoop from a killer study in 2020. They had guys testing out various routines, mixing up bench presses and skull crushers in different orders. Interestingly, when it came to overall pec growth, the bench press was king. However, skull crushers before bench pressing slightly diminished pec growth, probably because the triceps got tired and couldn't help as much with the press, reducing the pec workout's effectiveness. Now for the triceps, just doing bench presses didn't quite cut it compared to mixing in skull crushers. But here's where it gets interesting. While bench presses are superb for growing the lateral head of your triceps, skull crushers are your go-to for the long and medial heads. This tells us each exercise has its unique benefits, highlighting the importance of a varied workout for balanced tricep development. Curiously, the study also touched on grip width and even other compound moves. Turns out, we don't have solid data comparing different grips or additional compound exercises specifically for triceps hypertrophy. Most of what we know comes from EMG studies, which suggest closer grips might ramp up triceps activity. So, wrapping this part up, yes, compound exercises can significantly boost your tricep game, especially for the lateral head. But if you're aiming for maximum tricep hypertrophy, don't sleep on isolation exercises like skull crushers and my favorite rope extensions, as they are crucial for hitting those long and medial heads super hard. Now let's dive into some fascinating research from Japan that sheds light on how different triceps exercises impact muscle growth. The study involved 21 men who trained one arm with overhead extensions and the other with pushdowns using a supinated grip and working through a full range of motion from 90 to zero degrees. They progressively increased the weight whenever possible to keep the challenge up. Interestingly, even though the subjects could lift heavier weights on the pushdowns, the overhead extensions led to better growth in the long head of the triceps. The most likely reason was the extra stretch. Overhead extensions stretch the long head more because it crosses the shoulder joint and there's growing evidence that muscles trained at longer lengths can develop better. But here's a crazy twist. The study also found that the combined growth of the lateral and medial heads were better with overhead extensions, which was unexpected since these heads don't benefit from the shoulder positioning like the long head does. The researchers couldn't precisely differentiate growth between the lateral and medial heads, which would have been interesting, especially considering previous findings on how different exercises affect these parts. Now, a 2018 study from Greece also looked into this, with a focus on how these exercises might affect different regions of the triceps. They found that while overhead extensions generally favored growth across the triceps, pushdowns were better for developing the upper portions of the long head. This suggests that each exercise might target different parts of the triceps. Both studies used a cool method where each arm was trained with a different exercise. This is great because it keeps other factors like genetics, diet, and lifestyle consistent between the exercises. However, the Greek study was smaller and shorter, which might affect its findings compared to the more robust Japanese study. Overall, it seems clear that overhead extensions are particularly effective for developing the lower parts of the long head of the triceps likely due to the increased stretch during the exercise. This aligns with what we know about the benefits of training muscles in stretch positions. So, if you're looking to really shape up those triceps, mixing up your routine with both pushdowns and overhead extensions could be the way to go, focusing on how each exercise can uniquely enhance different areas of your triceps. Okay, let's talk about some of the other more popular tricep workouts. Experts often highlight a variety of exercises when discussing optimal triceps development. 
Besides overhead extensions and pushdowns, which are staples in triceps routines, several other exercises are frequently recommended for their effectiveness in targeting the different heads of the triceps. Here are a few standout exercises. Close Grip Bench Press. This exercise shifts some of the focus from the chest and shoulders, which are primary movers in a regular bench press, to the triceps. The closer grip allows for greater triceps activation, especially beneficial for the lateral head. Dips. When performed with a slight forward lean, dips primarily target the lower chest, but when done with the body more upright, the focus shifts more to the triceps. This is an excellent compound movement for overall triceps mass. Diamond push-ups. These push-ups, where the hands form a diamond shape on the ground, place a greater emphasis on the triceps compared to standard push-ups. Skull crushers or lying triceps extensions. This isolation exercise is particularly good for targeting the long head of the triceps. You can perform skull crushers with a barbell, dumbbells, or even with cables to keep constant tension on the muscles. Triceps kickbacks. This exercise is particularly good for isolating the triceps. The movement focuses on the contraction of the triceps when the arm is fully extended, which is great for defining the muscles. And last, but definitely not least, single arm tricep extensions. Using a cable machine for single arm triceps extensions allows for a constant tension throughout the movement and can help address imbalances between arms. Each of these exercises can be modified or intensified by adjusting grip, adding weights, or changing the angle of execution to further challenge the triceps and stimulate growth. Incorporating a variety of these exercises into your training routine can help you develop well-rounded triceps. And if you are looking for other ways to work the specific parts of your triceps, an easy way I learned how to focus each part is by the way your hand is positioned for grip. A supinated grip focuses the medial head, a neutral grip targets the long head, and a pronated grip dials in the lateral head. By understanding these grips and what they target, you can try out many different tricep exercises by just adjusting your grip positioning. All right, let's wrap this up with some solid triceps training tips. If you're looking to streamline your workout with just one killer isolation exercise for those tries, overhead extensions are your best bet. They offer an incredible stretch, better than skull crushers or pushdowns, and stretching that long head is key for serious muscle growth. Let's talk gear. Most studies we've checked out used cables for overhead extensions, but don't sweat it if you prefer free weights. Dumbbell overhead extensions are also a great choice, though there's not a ton of direct comparisons out there. A small study with five participants showed significant hypertrophy with these, so you're good to go either way. For those of you eager to mix things up and target different parts of your triceps, combining exercises could be the way to go. Mixing overhead extensions with skull crushers might just cover all your bases, hitting different regions of the triceps for a more balanced growth. A study highlighted that training with a variety of triceps exercises, like mixing pushdowns, seated cable extensions, and cable kickbacks across the week, led to better overall triceps development compared to just sticking to one move. So there you have it. Whether you stick to one go-to move or mix it up, you're on the right track to building those triceps. Remember, experimentation and adaptation are key in any fitness journey. Keep flexing, keep glowing, and catch you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more awesome content.